What's up, everybody? Pumpkin here. So, if you were paying attention at all today or yesterday, whenever this video is posted, uh, we found out that Detlaf, both Detlafs are getting nerfed. Uh, you can find this out on uh, Berz's Twitter. Um, so, I thought it was appropriate to show this deck. Um, this is a no unit deck or a one unit deck. Um, the, the way these decks work is uh, because the meta is very mid range oriented. Um, because they need to play a unit and deal damage, uh, if you play no units, or in this case, your only unit is immune, uh, they get no value out of it. Uh, this is a very, 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 very frustrating de uh, deck to play against because while there's nothing to hit, you don't get to interact with your opponent's board. Um, but because midrange should, in theory, go down a bit, uh, and because the meta is already shifting away from the midrange, uh, even Detlaf right now, as of today, uh, isn't going super crazy on midrange. They're now running like a uh, point slam midrange, like hybrid. Uh, basically, they play cards like Caldwell and Spear Tip and uh, Goliath, or not Goliath, but uh, Azrael. Basically, point slam. Um, and these types of decks destroy no unit decks because no unit decks are really good against mid range slash control decks. The instant people start playing actual points, like proactive points on the board, uh, no unit decks suck. Like, they're atrocious. They cannot keep up with points. Um, so I don't think I really mind showing this video. Um, basic idea of the deck, um, I, I don't suggest you play this deck. This is really just because there was a really fun highlight, uh, and I wanted to show it, but I'll explain the deck anyways. Basically, uh, you have immune dragon, it can't die, uh, other than COC, which is another card that auto counters this deck. Uh, but it's really, uh, consistent because you have double cross for a dragon, plus you have, uh, 1k fables for double cross into dragon. Um, you use Francesca for double garrison, or if you do play dragon in round one, which you kind of have to do if you want to win the round, uh, if they bleed you round two, you can renew it. Um, otherwise you drive past round two, round three, uh, you renew it. Uh, and then you double garrison the dragon. If they do bleed you round two, you can renew it, and then you can Francesca renew for round three. So you can play three immune dragons throughout the whole game. Um, once again, this deck is not very good, right? It, it, it's If you play this deck right now and you queue into a super aggressive control deck, like a mid-range deck, you'll do okay, and you might actually squeak a win through. Um, but the, the meta is going to start shifting a little bit because of the Detlef nerf that is uh, coming very soon, hopefully. Um, so I thought... You know what? It, it's okay to post this deck. If a couple people play this on ladder, it's not a big deal because it's not that good anymore. So, uh, yeah. It was a fun game I had with this deck. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. So the way you beat this deck is Big Monsters. Big Monsters shits on this deck because all my cards are... Right? So, like, because we're in a mid-range meta and everything does damage, um, if you don't play any units, none of their cards... Every single card they play loses half their value. Right? That's kind of the idea. Whee! Spin to win! Ash. No, oh, no, no, it's not dead! We put a skirmisher in! Pog! Champ. Do you think Dana has a chance against this deck? Maybe. She plays enough engines that it's possible. Not super likely, though. Why not play Puffball? Because Puffball sucks. I don't know why they nerfed Puffball. I honestly don't know. Puffball saw zero play at five, and they nerfed it to six. So, I, I don't know. Maybe there, there must have been some kind of internal testing. Too good. Isn't Detlaf Control Cancer too? So which is more cancerous, this deck or Detlaf Control? Question of the day. Detlaf for sure? Oh, so you guys are okay with me playing this deck because Detlaf would be worse, is what you're saying. That's what I hear. This is answer for Detlaf? This is answer, no, it's not just Detlaf. This is answer for mid range. You play cock bomb. Why? Our first unit and last. It's an interesting card. Not bad though. We can lose if he plays uh, COC. A word. 
I don't know. Do I think he plays COC? The reality is, if he plays COC, I auto lose next game or next round, so I can't play around it. So we're not going to. If you full test Sienna, you can play Roche next turn, and he will get four cards. Wait. Is it? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, are you saying that you don't have to Sienna that turn? Sienna that turn? So, if that's the case... Okay, I have a deck. I didn't know that. That's very useful information. Because then you can turn one Sienna. You just don't play any deploy the rest of the game. It says this turn is bugged. Oh, wait. So is it bugged or is it not bugged? Am I bug abusing if I pop it and don't utilize it that turn? I don't know. CDPR help. I don't know. Three day ban, but I didn't do anything yet. Wait, if he plays Osrel, I auto lose. Okay, so new game plan. Um, you see this little uh skirmy boy? He's gonna have to carry the shit out of this game. <laughs> oh no. The one skirmy boy. Alright, so that skirmisher is gonna have to be his entire board. Is that doable? It is doable. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. Meh! I agree. We can win this. We can win this. We can win this. No, we can win this. We can win this. We can win this. We can win this. Question mark? Don't question mark me. We can win this. No one wanted these lands, so I up and took them. We can win. Maybe play a deck with actual points.
We can win, as long as he doesn't have a crack bomb. Go your tail! Attack! 